Evaluate the limit as x approaches negative 3 in the function x squared minus 9 in the numerator divided by 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. The first thing I do is substitute in x equals negative 3 into the function, either mentally or on the side of the page. In the numerator, we have negative 3 squared minus 9, and in the denominator, we have negative 3, the entire quantity squared, which is positive 9 times 2, 18, plus 7 times negative 3, negative 21, plus 3. The denominator is also 0. We have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. This rational expression looks factorable, and by rational, I mean it's a division. There's something divided by something else. We can factor the numerator as a difference of squares, x squared minus 9. The x squared is the square of x, and 9 is the square of 3, and the negative difference of squares. We can factor the numerator as x plus 3, x minus 3. In the denominator, we have a quadratic that we're going to factor. Two things added together giving us 7, and two things multiplied together giving us 3. So this one is a tougher quadratic to factor because the coefficient on the x squared isn't 1 it's actually a 2. So we have to take that into account in order to get the 7 for 7x. Seven the factored form of the denominator is 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. We have a factor of x plus 3 in the numerator and also the denominator. We can cancel these factors. We now have x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. If we mentally substitute in x equals negative 3, we no longer have an indeterminate form. We don't have a 0 over a 0. That means we can actually substitute in the limit now to get our answer. Putting in x equals negative 3, we have negative 3 minus 3, and 2 times negative 3 plus 1. And simplifying, we have negative 6 over negative 5. The negatives cancel. Our answer is 6 over 5. When you see a polynomial divided by another polynomial, try factoring the polynomials and see what factors cancel. On a side note, the x plus 3 factor isn't a coincidence. Our indeterminate form 0 over 0 happens because of that x plus 3 factor. When x gets really close to negative 3, x plus 3 gets close to 0, which is what makes the numerator approach 0 and also denominator approach 0. Once we get rid of that x plus 3 factor, we get rid of the problem spot. And now we can actually solve the limit without getting an indeterminate form.